please excuse my I don't even know the words to describe it but clearly tired appearance um I am very tired this week kicked my butt um so I'm gonna drink some water but then I'm gonna I don't even know if I was recording the first time that I started this so that's random but anyways what I was saying was I'm tired this week has really has really pulled the last every little I don't know it has really got me so I am gonna drink me a Celsius but I am gonna start it with some water first I'm about to make me some eggs and a yogurt bowl maybe I could do a smoothie because I do have banana um my nose is like stopped up I'm feeling like a vulnerable state where it's like if I go too hard I can get sick so yesterday when I got off work I ate McDonald's and I just went straight to bed I stayed in the bed the whole night even though there was other stuff I wanted to do I didn't do it um because I felt like give yourself that time to rest and I thought I was gonna wake up early today and like get moving but I was still tired so you know it is what it is I think tomorrow I close as well today is Saturday June 8th it's 1 p.m. I have work at 3 30 so let me log in and see what my schedule looks like tomorrow because maybe tonight we can for real like stay up later and get stuff done yeah tomorrow I close too so boom that's good next week is gonna be another week where it's like damn more visitors I've been having non-stop visitors but at least I don't know my boo thing may be coming to visit me for his birthday um but I don't know the I don't know I don't know too many details surrounding that that may or may not happen and then Nas is coming back but so we are just gonna make time to see each other but it's like you know I've been real social lately like it's just been non-stop no I'm not complaining I'm not complaining by no means I love it here it just requires a little bit more energy out of me than I'm accustomed to giving and you can tell by the way my body is reacting right now but I'm excited this month I do not have school so I'm really going to take advantage of that and really buckle down on adulting meaning all appointments all budgeting all money making and also all things content content I can make money from but I want to get organized and pushing it out and actually doing it I have so much content filmed and taken to give you guys I just have to actually sit down and edit you know so, I'm excited. I really am excited about what this month is giving. Yeah, we're just going to make some eggs and a smoothie. I have yogurt, I have granola, I have banana, I have peanut butter. And we're running out of honey, but um, I have brown sugar. We do have honey. I have vanilla too. I don't know if I have any more honey. Let me look around. Because sometimes I just be buying it. Yeah, I have this. So, we just maybe need to buy some more now. But, it's is there. My nose being stopped up is so crazy. We have essentially like an hour to get everything together. I think I'm gonna make two eggs because I need a big hearty breakfast. 
I really don't have much to talk about. I just got out the camera because I really did not have no energy. And I'm not going to lie. The camera gives me inspiration and motivation because I realized like, okay, the camera's out. I got to do something. <laughs> so I start doing what I'm supposed to do because I'm recording it. So I'm not going to lie. You guys be holding me accountable. Y'all do. And that's probably why... That's probably why I be procrastinating so bad sometimes, especially on editing. Like, I have my one girl, she know who she is when she watch this. She works with me, and every time she sees me, she always asks me, is the video up? Did you post anything? Da -da -da -da. And I'm like, ah, like, girl, you keep me on my Zoom, and I love that. I love that. Like, she asks me every time, so I be feeling bad because I haven't done what I was supposed to do as far as edit my video and get it up. By the way, I have this Halloween bowl there. I hate that I have it there, like, and it's not Halloween. <laughs> but it is what it is. I want to have a real fall type of fall this year. Oh, but I'm going to Italy! I'm going to Italy for my birthday. I don't even know if I told you guys that. So, there's like a couple of habits I do want to start before that comes. I want to start getting on my zone and practicing Spanish and Italian every single day and I haven't been doing it because a part of me gets lazy when it comes to practicing Spanish because I have to speak it every day at my job and then the other part of me is scared to add in Italian because I don't know if I'm truly capable of learning two languages at one time like I feel like I should master one and then try to dibble and dabble in the other like but that's just my limiting belief I could do whatever I want to do I'm gonna get it together. Me having a snotty nose right now is really not the vibes, but it is what it is. Okay, let me mix up my eggs. I don't think should I record me cooking? I don't know if I've done it in a while. I'm just really tired. I don't even have the energy to like cinematically set y'all up and do the whole shebang like I my body yeah like I just gotta take it easy right now so I just wanted to come on here and get my ball rolling and update you guys on what's going on today's Saturday Gabby left yesterday um, I didn't even have I felt so bad because Technically, I got off early enough to where I could have came and picked her up and spent her last moments with her and took her to the airport. But when I tell you I was so tired, I was so tired. Like, it, I was slapping myself while I was driving. That's how tired I was. Like, I was nervous that I would even fall asleep at the wheel. Yeah, I was, like, hitting myself because I was just so tired. So, yeah, that's kind of how it went. But she got back safely. It was a great time. I'm so glad to have been able to host her. And I can't wait to do it again. So excited. Now I have to clean, reset the house, clean up for myself, but also because I have a boo that may be coming. I know y'all looking like, who is this boo? But. I'm not talking too much about him because, number one, it's none of y'all business. So, the only business that y'all do get to get is that knowing I have a boo. A little, a, a, I have a boo that's like, he's one of those where it's like, you always know where y'all stand. Like, y'all have that bond with to where, it's kind of like, you know how they say when you have a baby mama and a, a baby daddy, like, they gonna always fuck with each other. I feel like that. I feel like we have that kind of bond and we don't even have kids. Like, it's so crazy. But, he's somebody that I truly do care for. Um, I really do love him. And, I don't even know if I'm putting all this in the vlog. But, <laughs> um, yeah. I really care about this guy. And I don't know that we ever would work out because he lives, he doesn't live here. He lives somewhere else. I live somewhere else. We just always miss each other. We always miss the mark. It's always, 
it's always the wrong time and there has been talk about us trying to make this the right time but honestly I just don't know I just truly couldn't tell you so only time to tell is what I'm trying to say so but it will be nice for him to come and visit me and for us to just spend this time together and just love on those who love on you and I haven't had male companionship in so long it's like every time I get close with a guy it doesn't work out <laughs> So, I've been like really solo dolo, so it'll feel really nice to have someone near me that genuinely cares for me the same way that I care for him. And I just think it's going to be nice. Good vibes all around, you feel me? Should I put these chia? I forgot that I had chia seeds. Okay, yeah, we're going to put some chia seeds in here. Because I forget that I even have some. Ch -ch -ch so cool. So, so far I put my honey almond granola, a scoop of chia seeds. I'm going to add some peanut butter in here. I'm going to put some yogurt and a banana. I think I have almond milk too. Yeah. I do. I don't think I'm going to put any vanilla because everything that I have is vanilla flavored. So I don't really have to do too much. I don't think so. Alright, well I guess I'm going to catch up with you guys later. Because I don't have shit to talk about. And I already told John. I'm not finna film, so far this is what I got, but I'm not finna film me making it on camera because I'm just entirely too tired, so. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Good morning. Take a sip of water. It's funny because when I have coffee, I always wish that I had celsius or energy drink because these just hit different like they like have a harder kick it's more caffeine but then when i have caffeine energy drinks i want coffee because it's something just so cozy about a mug and your coffee in the morning i just love 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 so um Let's see, yesterday, today is June 9th, it's 11.24 a.m. I have work at 3.30 p.m. I'm closing again. I did want to go to church today, but um, I decided not to push myself too much because I think tomorrow I'm just going to go to crew meetup, so at least we do have that. I figure on the days that... I don't go on the weeks that I can't go to church I go to crew meetup so that I still get in that intentionality um, with going out of my way to go see about God and so I will be going to the crew meetup tomorrow so I'm happy about that um what I'm gonna do today is just make my breakfast and get ready and try to at least clean up before I had to work because I think we got up a little bit earlier than we did yesterday I feel much more energetic today I feel like I mean I don't feel like whoop 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 but maybe after this energy drink I will I feel like restored I'll say that much like I feel like I can get moving and get grooving whereas yesterday I still felt so drained after even 
after laying in the bed for hours upon hours. So I'm happy about that. Fun fact, I love watching morning routines on TikTok. So I know I told y'all yesterday that me like putting out my camera inspires me to get up and get ready. And it truly does because like it's like I'm creating my own little little life curating my own little life that I like to watch because I love watching those aesthetic creators with their ASMR and they get up and everything's aesthetically pleasing and they just do their stuff and they're so girly I love it so I try to recreate it for myself so that it kind of like romanticizes doing the things that I necessarily don't want to get up and do that I just feel so lazy plus also when you get up and get moving it kind of creates like a a domino effect it can, makes you um, it gives you momentum it makes you continue going I'm sorry my nose is stopped up so that's why I really can't talk right now I need to see if I have some flow nays I have allergy medicine there I don't know where the flow nays is but we're gonna make some we're gonna do the same thing we did yesterday we're gonna make us some eggs and make another smoothie because we have the banana and that smoothie was so good but this time I am gonna record it and make it like aesthetic so BRB you guys are clear right y'all can see everything yeah real quick because they are so fluffy I love fluffy yellow eggs these are the kind of eggs my mom would have loved to eat <laughs> an unpopular opinion I love the way that eggs taste like I don't need to put extra salt and stuff it's better with that don't get me wrong but why increase your sodium intake when you already intake enough on the daily so i just eat natural eggs because i actually like the taste of them i feel like when you actually like the taste of something you should capitalize off of that we don't have to enhance every single thing god damn it but that's just me that's just me because i get why people do but i guess i'm just saying i intake sodium like i eat unhealthy and do all this kind of shit so that's kind of like my way of balancing out the scales. Okay, so for the smoothie, I have my Ninja and I have these cups. I have to wash the thing, but we'll worry about that in a second. I'm going to take out my banana. This is the last banana. It's frozen. Take that out. I do have a cutting board. Also, I'm going to go ahead and thaw out some salmon because I've been meaning to take some out so I can have it ready to cook when I get home. Some salmon and rice. So I'm going to just put this in the fridge. Now, we're going to go ahead and go in with, we're going to put in peanut butter yogurt and the almond granola we also have chia seeds and we have honey I didn't put honey yesterday and I was straight without it so I don't know I might not put honey yeah I don't think that we need it if we were straight without it I'm not gonna use up what I already have because this has honey in it and I also have vanilla but my yogurt is vanilla and I put almond milk in there too and my almond milk has vanilla so we're just gonna go in like that so let's go ahead and start filling her up put some yogurt in there so 
So I put about this much of yogurt. We're gonna put some granola in there. like so far then we're going to chop up our banana I hate peeling frozen bananas because they're so cold it is so cold it's so cold my fingers ah! almost there Banana is so hard to peel. I'm gonna come back to y'all when I peel it. <laughs> All right, boom, we got it peeled. So now we're just gonna chop her up. And we're gonna plop all that banana in there. Boom, that's what we're working with. We're gonna put some almond milk in there. Oh my God, my almond milk was good till June 11th. Oh, it's June 9th, okay. Good, we're gonna use her up. Whoa, that's probably too much, but we'll go with it. It was really good yesterday, so I'm assuming it's gonna be really good today. Let me wash off my dirty little thing. So boom, we washed out our little thing. So now we're going to put that on here. Screw it up. Sorry, I don't know why it's blurry right now. Boom, shake it up a little bit. Okay, and you can tell if it's good by the consistency. Yeah, you see that? It like flows like water. I don't know if you can see. But when I unscrew it, you can definitely see it's like very like liquid. It's not too too thick. Because when it's too thick, it's more like a smoothie or a milkshake. And you can barely drink out of it. And I don't know, like for me, like that defeats the whole fucking purpose of Wait, what did I say? And when it's too thick, it's like a milkshake. And when you can't like slurp out of it, it kind of defeats the purpose for me. Because what am I eating here? Ice cream? So I like to be able to drink it. So let's see. Wait, cheers. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It could be sweeter. Last time it was sweeter. But this is good. This is good. I don't need nothing else. I could have put honey or something in there, but I'm good. I'm just going to plop on my bed and let me rinse this off so it's not so hard to clean next time. Uh, I'm going to plop on my bed and watch some YouTube a little bit and take my breakfast and then I will reconvene oops I will reconvene okay I will reconvene with you guys when I um when I finish having my breakfast and that way we can come together and get ready for the day and clean up and whatever whatever have you okay so it is now it is now 12:38 um so i'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready even though it's super early for me to start getting ready i'm gonna go ahead and start so that i can um do other things when i'm up and ready so i'm gonna go ahead and throw my retainer and some cleanser water do my dental hygiene shower and skin care and just start figuring out what i'm gonna wear and all that um yeah, and I'm going to take you guys with me. But I wanted to put you guys onto this YouTuber. I love watching her. She puts me in my bag. Her name is The Wizard Liz. I'm going to watch while I'm getting ready. I'm going to listen to this How to Manifest a New Life 
I love her because she just be popping her shit. She just talks. She really talks about you being a bad bitch that's confident and on your shit. And hearing her talk like immediately puts me in that energy. So I'm gonna go ahead and listen to her. So let's go. Attracted the new experiences like guys. It's shocking to me. It's shocking to not be depleted. That to me, the issue is when we are energetically depleted, for example, you can have a good day of sleep and that's it. The next day you feel fine again, okay? How do we tire ourselves out energetically by engaging in negative things, by uh, having negative conversations, by gossiping, by constantly saying what's wrong instead of what is right? So that, I swear to God, guys, when I just realized that one thing what he said to me about like, what is in your backpack? From that moment on, I started to actually point out beautiful things and good things. I started to say, I'm not what I'm grateful for. And I swear to God, my whole energy. Another thing is, attract that money. Be like, you know, wait a minute. Everyone comes to me for advice constantly. I'm really good at giving advice. So then I started my channel and the money came in because now I'm helping people. And I'm doing what I'm good at. A lot of people, they always say like, oh yeah, I tried and then it didn't work out. When you want something and you want it bad enough, it does not matter. People will go over bodies to get what they want when they want something bad, okay? You have to have that mindset. You want, you have to want it as bad as you want it. You'll be another pro-life. Another thing is moving places. Living in Europe, I just knew that country was not meant for me. I knew it from our soul knew I was not meant to be here. And the moments that I've asked two times in my life, I asked. God, if there, there's not physically anything that I can do in, inside of myself, I move on. I believe that God has something bigger for me. I believe that my highest good is not this. This is not my highest partner, job, friendship, whatever. If I let go of this, I will get much better. You will. Life will work out beautifully for you in ways you did not even expect. Okay, boom. So, while I do my skincare, I'm going to go ahead and put on a podcast. I want to put you guys on to one of them that I listen to. I listen to about seven different ones, but the one I'm going to listen to today is called the Energy of Money Podcast. It's by this um, Dr. Maria Nemeth, and she just really talks about like manifesting, money, being in the energy, like the energetic um, capacity to to get more money and to basically just like live a good life she talks about a lot of things but I'm gonna pick which one I want to listen to now mm, I'm gonna listen to financial intentionality with philanthropist and former financial planner Elfrena Ford let's see what they talk about Try a little bit and put my retainers back in. Wonderful full partnership. He is. It's different because for them, re and doubt, but what you're talking about is, <laughs> you know, $10 a month, $15 a month, but, you know, $10 a month is $120 a year. And if you have about 
20 of those, I mean... Well, they paid all cash, and it's across the street. I'm sorry about you know, the light. Expect, oh, I'm, I'm such a good person giving. I no, love I this foundation. I think I'm going to rebuy it. It's so good. have challenges that I don't I'm have. Bad. So it's, I'm using... it's a wonderful experience. This is not real. And, uh, I put extra different well, product in here. So it's a combination of product. I just like the applicator in, because in it's Beth, like this. A lot of traveling. I see Egypt. I see maybe Russia. You know, all over the place. So... You I should have did a before and after, but it life. really. You are very blessed. Well, and I, I want to say something about that. Uh, you are blessed. In so I recent I tried the um Elf Lip Reviver Glow Reviver Lip Oil, and I freaking love it. I want to get it in different shades. This shade is um Rose Envy. It has like a reddish tint to it, but. I like it it leaves my lips glossy with a little bit of color I just really love it and then I'm also elf be coming through because I also want to show you guys the um, blush that I use is so pigmented I need to get better light to really show y'all though let me see <laughs> exactly Okay, I look so good. I'm gonna curl my ponytail and but yeah, this is the, I'm gonna show you guys in here because I think the light looks really good in here. So let me show you. This is the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush. And when I tell you this shit is so good, it's supposed to be a dupe for the Rare Beauty, which everyone knows is so pigmented. I gotta get my baby some more food and water. She's thirsty. Okay, so... I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm so thirsty. I'm going to give me some water in a second. But you're going to take a dot of this because anything more is going to be entirely too much. So we just put like a dot here and a dot here. And that, you know, low key, I could probably go in one more. But I, it's buildable. So I like to just like do that. And I'm going to show you guys. Hopefully my hair doesn't get in it. Go in with my blush side of my brush and just I don't have a mirror so I can't really see what I'm doing but I don't know can y'all see we might have to get a little bit more I like to bring it across my nose oh yeah I think you can see and then like on my forehead it's just so pretty and this is like a natural like oh the color I love this shade it's called Swab Mob. It blends into my skin so fucking good. Um, let me see if I need more or not. Let me go on a real mirror. I'll be back. It's real slight. Like, I could go more. I could. I kind of want to to show y'all. But I think I'm not because, like, I don't like to do too much at work. Like, if I was going out, I would definitely do more. But for work, like, it's real, like, subtle because I be sweating at work and everything. Loki, I'm kind of feeling the messy ponytail. But I think I'm going to try to add some curls just to give it a little bit more of a sleekness. And we're almost ready. I already picked out my outfit. And then we can just like um, take loose out and then see how much time we have to play with to like try to tidy up. Because my house is really a mess right now. Pack my bag and stuff like that. Or I could even cook lunch because I don't have lunch and I could cook lunch to bring it. We'll see. We got a couple options we can play with. But for now, I'm going to just go ahead and drink some water. So, I guess let's go ahead and do our hair. I kind of like these pieces being straight. I mean, I could curl them. Let's see. Let me grab my curler. I'm going to take some vitamins right now. I have my curler heating up. I think I told y'all kind of how I was feeling um yesterday like I don't know I feel like in a weird in-between stage where it's like if I go too hard or don't take care of myself then I'm gonna get sick like I can just feel it on coming like you see how my nose is like I feel like I have a weakened immune system right now but I'm still able to push through so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some zinc and my multivitamins 
I also have B12, but I'm not going to take her. Just take these two for right now. I know I have vitamin D somewhere, but I don't know where she is. So I'm going to just take these because I don't want to get sick. When I get sick, like it does entirely too much. So like it takes up entirely too much time. So hopefully I can avoid that. So I'm going to take these two gummies. And a multivitamin. I know I have vitamin C somewhere too. I can like put a packet in my water. Um, but actually I may not have any more. So whatever. I'm gonna just take my um my multivitamin. I look so pretty. <laughs> I always look so pretty when I like take my time like when I be rushing that's when I look busted I mean I never look busted I'm sorry that's when I look a little I look like I didn't pour into myself I always look my best when I pour into myself I love pouring into myself like having the breakfast taking the shower putting the lotion doing the skincare doing my hair I love it so now I'm just going to play some tunes. I know I showed you guys before my favorite, favorite um, DJ on YouTube. His name is Bobby Nsinga. And he has these different playlists. Like this one is called Saturday at the Museum. So it just sets the vibe. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on while I do my hair and get dressed. And um, I don't know when I'm going to touch base with you guys. I'm not going to get off until midnight, I think. And I think I have to work tomorrow at 10. Tomorrow I have the meetup for church and then so Tuesday I think I'm going to be intentional about going to see my grandma. I need to see her before she goes to DR and then Wednesday I think I'm off on Wednesday. So Wednesday that needs to be I need to work out and make that a real get shit done day as far as deep resetting the house. Oh my god because I don't know if my babe is coming that day. So one of these nights I may have to pull an all-nighter. But you know what? A couple things do, but I always get it done. Might have been a time when you love her too, but I take that away because I've always been the one. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my way of saying all this shit's getting done one way or another. It's just about when and how. So I will ca I will pick you guys up throughout the week. Um, I don't know when I'm going to end the vlog and, or start the vlog. And I'm running out of battery. So, I will talk to you guys later. I'm gonna put on my cloak my shirt before I take off the scarf so I don't mess up my hair and then we can decide if I'm going to curl the front pieces or not I think I am though Bump it. I'm just combing out what I did so that it can be nice and like you know all around I like it. I think it looks good. I have a couple pieces that kind of need a little touch up. It's like my arms burn when I'm holding them up, bro. This is like its own workout. Boom, I think that side is good. Boom, I think that side is good. I think we're good. I know this side definitely looks better than this side, but I think that is good enough. I think I might just do this piece. Okay. I have put on my shirt. Let me show you guys the outfit. Now I gotta go lower. My little flare pants. 
probably my best jeans. Let's see how my hair looks. I kind of like it with the with the <laughs> with the head wrap. That's a beautiful sunny day today. Yeah, Let's see. Oh my god. Should I curl my pieces or leave them straight? I like them straight. I'm gonna curl them. If I just do one pass though, I'm gonna comb it out. Boom. Comb her out. Okay, she's a little. She's a little more. She's a little more spunky. I don't know what's up with her. This is so cute. And my edges look really cute too. Look at my edges. <laughs> okay, pretty girl. All right, I don't know. This one's really spunky, but she'll fall down throughout the day, I guess. If not, whatever. We're going with her. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put on my shoes, take care of my pets, see what's going on with traffic, and decide if I have enough time to cook lunch. And if not, I'll just tidy up until it's time for me to go, honestly. So, 